Hi guys, today I want to show you a very simple way in which you can set up your bank details. If you are in Kenya, Africa, India, wherever it is that you are, how you can set up your bank details to be able to receive your payments through bank or through EFT from Amazon. So just follow along this tutorial. Just come to the top right corner where it's written your account and press it. Once it's open, this is where you're going to put in your account details as you can see. So for me, because I'm an individual, I'm not a corporation, it's, I'm not like a business or a company, I, I, I pressed on individual. Account holder's name, I put my account, my names as per my ID. Okay, so I had already set up a payment account, but I'm going to add another bank account just for the sake of this tutorial okay as you can see i'd already put in my bank account in kenya and i was told i'll be paid in multiple currencies i had already filled up my task information my tax information you have to fill up your kra tax information as per your country if you're in kenya you have to put up with your kra information your kra pin number rather okay so when they ask me where is my bank i'll say my bank is in kenya Okay, press enter. They told me I already have a bank for this uh, for this region. Do, would you still like to add it because you already have a bank account? So I'll say yes to add another one. Okay, my, my account is a checking account. And so I'll put my account number. This is the digit number that is usually at the bottom of your ATM card. Okay. So I'll add I'll add in the number. I think it's a 14 digit number if I'm not wrong. All right. Then I will re-enter the account number so that they make sure you have entered the correct number. Okay, so I've entered my account number. That is all right. Then I will enter my bank code, your two digit bank code code now if you don't know your bank code just go and search on google even me i did not know my bank code and they will give you a five digit code so after i've entered the first two which are the bank code you will now enter the branch code so i will i, I will enter one two three just for example but check the bank which you're using and enter the correct numbers okay if it is in cba just go and google if it's in them google and you'll find the correct number and then you will also search for the bic code also known as the swift code so for this instance i use the swift code for ncba bank but you can use for any bank that you will be using to receive your payments okay so next add the account holder's name and guys i'm just using this as an example these are not my real names but i'm just using this for example because i had done this video before and some people had tried to hack my account so i'm just using this for example purposes so i've added the account holder's name as gendo next add in your address put in your country for me i'm in kenya so i'll write my country is kenya Next, I will enter my address. Just enter where you stay. This is in case they end up sending you a check or confirming where you live. So here I entered my address as B20, just for example purposes. But uh, I realized that they say that the street address may, must contain more than one letter. My city is Nairobi, so I'll go back and edit that. That's why you see it's red above there okay my city is nairobi then because this b20 is not working the seed must contain more than one alphabetical letter i will say my address is moy avenue okay but when you are uh, setting up write your correct address this is just for security purposes one and two this is just in case they have to send you a check maybe your payment in some countries will not be possible through eft and they may end up sending you a check so write your correct address my state or province i will say it is still nairobi okay so so write that there then my postal code the postal code for nairobi is 00100 and i will add that there 
but guys since i already have an address i'm just using this as an example this is why you're seeing they have this box for me which says select existing address so once you're done setting up your address just input your tax information that is only adding in your kra pin number and unfortunately for us who are not in the us when you make sales in the us marketplace they cut 30 percent of your payments as a tax payment so once you are done and you have checked and see, seen that you have set everything up well click at the bottom of the page go to the bottom of the page and click on save and there you have it and there you are you are ready to receive your payments through eft and when you earn your income at the end of the month amazon is going to pay you two months later so for example if you make uh your payment at the end of january they are going to send you your money by the end of march and the good thing with eft it doesn't matter how much you earn even if you earn ten dollars they will send you that ten dollars even if you earn a thousand dollars they will send you that thousand uh, dollars eft is better than checks because for checks you have to reach the minimum threshold for a hundred dollars before they send it to you so this is the good thing about eft you can receive your payment anytime no matter how much it is and if you have backlogs of payments of, of money that amazon owes you and they have not yet been able to send you once you set up the your eft payments they will send you this money immediately so i hope this video helped you guys i hope you're able to set up your eft or your bank details to be able to receive your payments if you're not yet subscribed hit the like and subscribe button and thank you for hanging out with me so far i'll see you on the next one